both Biden, the Biden team came out very strong against him, but the Trump pack did as well, because right now RFK is polling around 24 percent. And if you look at an election that's really, really close, if someone is even going to take, you know, 10 percent, it could make a big difference. And if you wonder if that's true, ask Hillary Clinton about Jill Stein in Michigan mm -hmm. back in 2016. It makes a it makes a difference. And the, the Democratic National Committee, for the first time ever, has stood up an actual formal office within the DNC to just specifically go after third party candidates. I'm Shanahan curious. I'd like to know more about her. <laughs> I don't I think it's interesting that there's somebody like her who is willing to throw herself into the ring. I don't know if she knows what's about to hit her. And you know, Silicon Valley is not the easiest place to be. It can be, you know, knock down drag out fights out there, but the scrutiny she's about to go under is going to be intense. Um, I was surprised in a way that it wasn't Mike Rowe, because he was within the mix. He was on the short list of RFK Jr. And I believe that the, you know, there had been even conversations. And I think he would have been a really interesting choice if you were trying to figure out where to get blue collar workers in the middle of a political realignment that the Republicans and the Democrats are fighting over. If there is an independent streak in America, and we know that there is, Gallup says that there's 30 percent of people say they're Republican, 30 percent say they're Democrat, and the rest say that they're independent. They usually end up voting Republican or Democrat. But if there was a viable third choice, I thought that Mike Rowe was as an excellent communicator, somebody who brings a lot of credibility with him to that fight with that with those voters. I thought that might have been interesting, but he chose Shanahan. And now we shall see. Can I also just say I think it's pretty interesting that this is, I think, the 472nd makeover of Kamala Harris <laughs> and she's being sent out to shore up shaky Biden voters. I mean, yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, before we get to uh, Kamala.